Hi everyone, this is KG Cichlids, and do you have a problem with straight voltage in your tank? Do you think something like this might work? I don't know, let's find out. Ridvolt Titanium Aquarium Grounding Probe. Non-corrosive titanium grounding probe improves aquatic environment. Easy to install. Eliminates stray voltage. Rids animals of stress. And it's got a 10 foot wire lead. Uh, they claim that these basically get rid of any stray voltages that might be as a result of, you know, for instance, your power heads or uh, heaters might, might have, you know, stray voltages if they're not grounded properly, etc or have internal faults might cause the voltage to get into the water stream and hurt your fish. Uh, what we're gonna test out here today is that the tank is I know what you're thinking. It says specifically not to plug it into a power strip, plug it directly into the wall. Well, our results were still the same. So as you can see here, we're plugged directly into the wall. My meter's ground probe is plugged into the device as well. Uh, and you can see the readings are fluctuating just by sitting here. This is taken in millivolts. Now, as soon as I go into some water here, this is what happens. Not really much. You can see that it's going up a little bit, but there you go. Now, if I t don't touch the probe, I've got zero, absolutely zero in that tank right now. Nothing's in there. There's no wiring in there. Here's the, the ground probe from the wall in the tank. I'm inducing 0.1 millivolts with nothing in the tank. You can see that right there. I'll take it back out. Absolute zero. Again, I'll put the ground probe, which is supposed to get rid of stray voltage, back in the water. No bueno. Yeah, doesn't work. It's actually making a path for small voltage to get into the tank. So if you don't have a problem, don't install one of these. Okay, so you'll notice here, I've got it set up. Um, and even just sitting here, sometimes this meter will spike up just from anywhere being near it, touching it. It'll jump up a couple hundred millivolts sometimes, depending on what it is, but it'll fluctuate a little bit. Now, if I stick this in the water, as you can see, as I'm touching it, it's generating millivolts here. You know, I'll drop it in the water and I'm going to back away from it so I'm not touching it. You'll see as fish come near the probe, that electrical signal will jump if they get near it because they generate small electrical fields as well as like we all do. Uh, now we're going to take the ground probe and you notice the tank really isn't producing much. There's in the way of millivolts, not much. I'm going to take this probe right here, which is right here this ground probe, and it goes right up here. It's plugged in to power strip. My power strip shows that I've got a good ground here as well, just so you can see. And the probe on my other end of the probe for my meter is plugged into right here, which goes to the same spot where this comes from. I'm going to drop this in the tank, watch the readings on the meter, same time. Whoop. There, drop it in there. Now look at that. It's actually inducing a small voltage in the tank right now. So you're saying that uh, this product may be crap? It may be, it may help with something that's got a high voltage issue where you actually do have a, a problem or it'll actually ground it out or give it a path to go. But in a tank that doesn't have a problem, it's actually making a small one. I don't know how if that'll, that'll affect the fish or not, but if you look at it, it's actually Inducing, you know, what is that? Yeah, it looks like they're fine. 124, 125 millivolts. But if I take this out of the water. All the way back down to zero. Yeah. Basically, I mean. So this would indicate that it's actually giving that, it a, a problem. Yeah. So there you go. There it is. So what you got to say about the, the product and when it's supposed to be taken out, 
uh, electrical current, but it's inducing it. I'd say it wouldn't be doing its job. What are your thoughts on that, guys? Leave a comment. We'll see you guys on the next one.